Kwako Environmental Health Office is strategizing at curbing the indiscriminate disposal of plastic waste in the municipality. A large chunk of waste generated in the area is from plastics. Eva Atibuka reports. A day after the sanitation exercise, <laughs> Polythene bags are scattered all over. Drains are choked with pieces of plastics. Heaps of refuse gathered on the shoulders of roads are made up of plastics. Despite the dangers, food vendors continue to sell close to the waste. I'm so happy. But she has to leave the rubbish to dry before she pay some people money and they collect the rubbish. They convey the rubbish. We spend five cities on food and spend more on health care. Farmers have complained turning up the soil for effective air circulation is difficult due to plastics. The Municipal Environmental Health Officer, Bawa Joseph Mahama, attempted an explanation. Uh, the Zoom Lion and then the Environmental Health uh, Libris remain on the fault. But immediately the time is up, the traffic, you see, makes the collection very difficult. What traffic? Traffic in town. You know, the cars, motors, bicycles, and other things. There was a day a, a, a motor hit one of our workers. So we saw that if the time is due, we asked them to relax the next day or Monday. He lamented the challenges with controlling indiscriminate disposal of waste. With the hammer time. Uh, the wind blows uh, this uh, polythene bars from other places to the center of the town. Plastics take longer time to decay. The decomposing period does not only pose environmental and health threats, food security is also threatened. Farmers attribute poor crop yield to polythene bags mixing up with the soil. The municipal assembly is working hard at measures to contain indiscriminate disposal of plastic waste. 